Hi, hello, hello. Hope you are doing very well. Um, it's end of March here, last day of March. You probably got my newsletter by this time. I've been recording a video for fruit in eating um, interview and uh, since I have all this makeup on my face I thought I will record another podcast episode um, about the designs that I'm working on and things that I have on my needles. I made this one in collaboration with Cocon Yarn and uh, Michelle of Cocon Yarn she dyed this color away, the main color, especially for this design it was inspired by one of my pictures that she saw on my Instagram and um, yeah, she came up with this beautiful colorway and I, I draw my flowers on, the, on her beautiful canvas This one is also a round yolk blower and um, has this beautiful beautiful color work with a uh, um, contrasting color being a chunky mohair uh, which also comes out like really three-dimensional it, pop, it, pop, it pops up from, um, from the main fabric with this fluff it's very nice and um, there is a cute pattern on the cuffs which also might not be for everyone but I really like it and this remind me gingo leaves right very cute and um, yeah and that's it the hem is simple ribbing it is worked straight down and um, of course uh, top down not bottom up this one is top down and I also made a second sample for this one in um, another colorway that uh, Michelle dyed and this one is called um, Spring Meadow so this colorway, the main color of um, uh, Cocon Merino Decay is the Spring Meadow you don't, you don't really see it it's, it's more white on, your, on, on the screen now but it is, it is yellowish and pinkish It's very springy and um, the uh, contrasting color here is madder. So the one that I used for my floral cocon, which is like pinkish pinkish, and this one is here the, the contrasting color. And um, it was so funny because I started working on this second sample when I was preparing for my disputation and um, with all the anxieties and like millions of things that you had to do in the same time the tension of my knitting was different and um, I noticed that the yoke is, is super nice, it's so good So and then by the time I was closer to the disputation and to finishing this part under the yoke it went a little bit loose so now this one is probably like half a size bigger than the other one so this pattern will be released in uh, by the end of April. It should be something like twenty um, fourth or something, something like that. And um, you can choose whichever color you like. I think I like the darker pattern. The light one is is very is very tender, very gentle. Um, yeah, probably my features are not bright enough for for such a sweater but it's very beautiful but this one is true me this one is me right and um, 
yeah. So here the um, the interesting thing is that you have to work the neckline on a very small needles on like two or or 2.5 millimeters needles and then also the hem and then it gives you this really nice tight ribbing that I really enjoy but the rest is pretty straightforward and um, yeah also on the cuffs it's beautiful the colorway here this main color is it's just it's so delicious it has so many colors and it I really like that it's so warm and it goes really well with um, with the mother 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 is the um, contrasting color here. Yeah, so I've been I've been really frustrated in the beginning when I started working with this colorway, and I couldn't because the initial idea was to pair this contrasting color with this yarn, and it just didn't work, and I I was so frustrated. I was like. What am I going to do with this? Yeah, and then I had some of the um, uh, this dark one left from my floral cocoon, and I used it. And yes, this is it. Sometimes you just you just have to go for a more dramatic thing to get a nicer effect, right? Another design that I wanted to show you is my, um, it's an old one, it's one of the first designs that I that I published and also I think it's like a second floor that I made in my life, something like that. This was the uh, original sample, this one is made in soft Donegal tweed from uh, Studio Donegal and I made it in 2016 or 17. So I've been wearing this one a lot and um, I thought of uh, making a second sample and uh, grading the pattern to include more sizes because when I started the first thing I released was um, only one size and I gave it away for free. This is how I started my whole designing uh, career. I was um, releasing patterns for the size that I made and uh, giving them away for free and then uh, at some point I included I graded it to when I started learning how to grade I graded it to include five sizes so and now is finally the time that I know how to grade for more sizes and I have more experience and uh, I know how to improve the whole pattern I graded it to include nine sizes and um, I changed some little things within within the pattern itself with the construction and um, yeah, I'm hoping for it to have a better fitting in the in the neckline, and um, of course in the in the raglan lines for the bigger sizes, which which is something that usually which is very difficult to grade. What I'm what was what I'm trying to say, and um, yeah, so this one is um, it has a very beautiful uh, hemline with. Um, central panels worked in a just simple stock in it and then the side panels have ribbing so this looks really nice and then um, the sides are so the, the whole thing has an a-line shaping so the sides are shaped to closer to the to the body um, as you go up and um, and then these raglan lines they are exaggerated so you have this increases on the on the sides of the raglan stitch itself that uh, provide like additional um, interest to the to the lines themselves and the neckline it um, the neck and or the neck ribbing as as much as you can as you like to do the neck it could be either like mock neck like here or you can just do like on the other sample I'm gonna show you um, so this ju is just the continuation of the central panel of the twisted stitches, this cable-like patterning here. I really like this design and I've been wearing it a lot and getting a lot of compliments. So I, I took the time to adapt and uh, improve the pattern. So this is my second sample and I worked this one in Nutiden. And uh, it turned out really, really nice. It's so light, it's so fluffy, and um, 
comparing to the other one it's um, this one is 50 grams uh, lighter and you can feel it and the texture is different so it's it's very nice it's something it's something you have to see when you work with Nutiden it's yeah and um, previously when I worked with Nutiden I used it only for for color work or something stuck in it uh, around stuck in it um, and here I used this um, twisted stitches and look how beautiful the texture came up. I really enjoyed seeing how Nutiden works in the in this kind of textured patterns and I think um, I will be using more of, of it for this kind of designs because it does it does really translate the texture very well. see here this hemline, the one with uh, ribbing on the sides and um, just the stockinette on the, on the central panels. So it's the same on the back, so the, the central panel is the same on the back as well. Um, and then the neck here, I, I didn't do it as high as in the previous one, it's just um, a little bit high, um, actually it doesn't stand like, like it's on me now, it will lie flat, but it's just like a regular scoop or a crew neck uh, on the top. Yes, so we are currently testing this pattern and uh, if you ever purchase it, you will get an update when the pattern goes, goes uh, live. And um, if you always wanted to knit something like this, this could be a very nice option. I I really really like this patterning on the front. It, and then the shoulders here, the neck, the raglan lines are very flattering. So something I'm usually struggling with, thinking that my shoulders are too wide. This helps a lot. It makes you look slimmer. But well, it's all about looks, right? Um. What I'm wearing today is my Carcade Pulli. It's a cropped pullover where I worked in um, fingering weight yarn. I used um, Studio Donegal Darni for this sample. And the um, contrasting color is a um, heavy yarn also from Studio Donegal, but it's, um, it's soft Donegal, I think. So it is heavier than the main color. And why it is heavier? So that the color work here these floats that are on the right side they would be more textural and it gives you almost like a 3, 3d effect here so this was the first design where i used um, the inside out color work technique on the on the hem here and um, the yoke is finished with this nice um, um, chains of uh, i don't know how it's called like braids, right? Um, they run across and uh, they're very, very subtle, but you can still see them and they, they provide this additional interest to otherwise very simple um, round yoke. And they also run on the sleeves. There is one here. You can add as many as you like on the sleeves. So this is a collaboration with Miss Miss Lamote, Miss Lamote, mm -hmm. and um, I'm using two colorways. This one, the main color is the rustic linen. It's merino with um, with linen uh, fingering weight, and the the other one is um, oh I don't remember the name. I don't remember the name, but I will look it up. So this one is like. Um, wine 
it's all hand dyed and um, the colors are just beautiful so this is also a round yolk and I'm using here the um, my favorite floats on the right side so this is how the yolk looks like and um, then the pattern goes on the hem as well and here we have some lacing and I just did some surgery I unraveled the the neckline and I will do the same lace patterning on the top here for the for the neckline ribbing that's what I had before I didn't really like like the moment you finish I finished the the hem here the bottom I saw that the the neck didn't look so nice anymore so yes this will be a very light um, springy summery cropped pullover to go over like light dresses and um, skirts and um, I think I will do three quarter sleeve um, for this one uh, with some uh, lace on the cuffs yeah so this is my big project here it's been it's been a while it took me forever first because it's fingering weight and my hands are really hurt when um, when I'm working with small needles um, yeah I shouldn't probably take so many so many projects on the small needles yeah but well I'm trying to I'm trying to have only one uh, project on my needles at the same time so I don't forget what I'm doing uh, and I focus on one but this one as well and also because of the color work the the floats are not a fast knit so you have to allow some time yourself to knit it slowly enjoy every round see how how your tension is um, control it so it is very beautiful when you finish it but the process is very slow so you have to you have to allow yourself to enjoy the whole thing and then um, yeah and then the lace is beautiful and lace is pretty straightforward it's very simple I did some um, finishing with little bit little little picots here which um, let's see. well it doesn't matter I will block it nicely and it will be possible to see them better but yeah I will probably have the small picots on the on the neck as well that should be really nice um, yeah happy with this one happy with this one but the sleeve violin is coming soon and um, I had so many ideas about something new that I want to cast on but yeah my rule I have to finish this one before I cast on something else Especially if that's something that will be on 3.5 or 3 millimeter needles, which is again a pain for my for my hands. Well, I think that's it. I made a little video for you about my Easter traditions, and um, I will probably be painting more eggs uh, this weekend. And um, yeah, this weekend is Easter, so if you celebrate. Um, a nice holiday enjoy your time with your family if you can see them well and i will see you very soon in the next episode